everyone. Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Club. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make homemade instant miso soup. When you're cooking just for yourself, you sometimes don't feel like making a lot of dishes and end up having just rice and milk. But if you have this instant miso soup ready to go in your freezer, you can make miso soup in no time and upgrade your meal. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with this miso soup. So stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need. 300 grams of miso paste, 2 tablespoons of hondashi, instant Japanese soup stock, and some green onion or chive. Today, I'm using white miso, but you can use any miso you like or you already have. No matter what the color is, these are all fermented soybean paste. Let's slice the green onion or chive. Cut the bottom off. Cut them into halves, put them together. This is just to save your time. And then let's make things like these. and put it in the bowl of miso. Hondashi goes into the bowl too and mix it well. Like this. And you don't need to dissolve the hondashi. I still see the granules. Prepare some baking cups or bento cups in a shallow Ziploc container. And put little less than one tablespoon of the miso mixture into each cup. I'm using this ice cream scoop, but you can use spoon. Push them to one side. More baking cups. Until you finish all the miso mixture. I made 20 miso balls. Seal it tight with the lid. And keep it in the freezer. It can last about two weeks. And when you want to have miso soup, prepare soup ball and put one miso ball. And put whatever cooked vegetable you have in your fridge or freezer. Today I have some cooked spinach. So I'm adding it. Some spinach and add some hot water, about 200 milliliters. Give it a mix. And miso soup is ready to go. Today I put some spinach, just because I had it, but the vegetables can be anything, or you can do it without any vegetables. You still have some green onion or chive in the miso bowl already. 
Sometimes while cutting seaweed or tofu cut into small cubes would be nice too instead of vegetables. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Instant miso soup is supposed to make the whole meal prep nice and easy, so if you want to keep it that way, plain rice here, pork and lettuce roll here, and let's forget about the side dishes. If you feel like doing something more complicated because the soup is very easy, how about ebi katsudon here, which will also cover the main, spinach dressed with sesame sauce for one of the side dishes, and some sort of pickles to refresh your palate for the other one. I hope you enjoy the meal! That's all for today! Thank you so much for watching! More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything.